Indictments coming up, rent prices going down, scientific discoveries coming out, all that and more. Stay tuned for the headlines. Welcome to the headlines, everyone. I'm Juliana Forlano for the Political Voices Network. Fulton County, Georgia has installed large orange security barriers in front of the courthouse where the large orange threat to democracy will likely be indicted for election fraud in the next few days. Keeping our eyes on that. In other news, two years after everybody moved back in with their mom, rent prices are finally cooling off. The rent is now too goddamn high instead of too fucking goddamn fucking high. So I'm I'm sure that will help. I'm sure that will help a lot. Also in news from the South, a lot of good news coming up from the South. An Arkansas law against providing harmful books to children was temporarily blocked by a sane federal judge this past weekend because, you know, it's unconstitutional. If it had passed, it would be a crime for those hardened, hardened threats to society known as librarians and bookstore people (laughs) to give minors materials deemed harmful to them. I have to say, who does the demon? I'm sure they'd be making some sort of a commission to deem and the the church ladies would all get on it. Anyway, Arkansas voters, y'all seem awfully convinced that your religious extremist compatriots will always be in power. Has it ever occurred to you that if the folks who would never dream of banning books got into power and then, I don't know, changed their minds, started banning your favorites? I mean, what would we ban? Atlas Shrugged? Are the kids still reading that? Mein Kampf for dummies? How about we start with the Bible? I could name like several million kids who've been harmed by some of the stuff in there. I mean, in the Crusades alone, estimates put it that nine million people were murdered. So nine, that's a lot of mommies and daddies murdered, kids left without parents or family or kids just being murdered for Jesus. I'm sure that was harmful to the kids. So, I mean, seriously, seriously, Arkansas people, how do you know? Why do you think this is such a good idea? Where do you get the idea that never will the majority the Democratic majority of this country ever figure out they need to get off their keisters and vote in great numbers. I think they will. I think they are. I think we're going to find out about that pretty soon. Stay tuned for that. In our final story, scientists have discovered how to induce virgin birth in fruit flies. Virgin births. Jesus! I'm Juliana Forlano. You're watching the Political Voices Network. Those were the headlines. Stay tuned for more. And check out my podcast, The Juliana Forlano Show. It is right here on the Political Voices Network. And it's also where you get podcasts everywhere else. iTunes, Sirius XM Podcasts, the other ones. I hope you enjoy it. Coming up this week will be Dean Baker. We're going to talk about the economy with a progressive We're going to talk about the economy with someone who is not bought and sold into a narrative that supports oppression. Won't that be fun? Subscribe right here and you'll get it. You'll get it. You'll get it. Thanks for watching. Hi, everybody. Juliana Forlano here for the Political Voices Network. We hope you're enjoying Political Voices and all the content we provide on the daily. Now, there are a few new programs in the wings that are going to launch just in time for election season. If you're able and would like to help us continue bringing you all this content, please help support us by clicking the join button. We're going to have some perks for members, including early video release. You get the information first. Members only chat rooms, live shows, member badges, all the good stuff and more 
all coming soon. So click that join button if you can to support us. And rest assured, we will continue to bring you all the great content you have known from the Political Voices Network and more. Thanks so much. See you soon.